In this project, we are going to build a surveillance camera with the ESP32 cam board, which is installed in this cute 3D printed case. You can set your desired angle for surveillance by easily moving the 3D printed part. By integrating the camera with Elik and Odinio, it has the ability to give notification to your Telegram account whenever the motion is detected. The motion detection is done by the camera itself, not using a PIR motion sensor. They also have this dashboard in which you can see short footages of motion detection from anywhere in the world. The interesting aspect of this project is that you can build this powerful camera under $10. So shall we start? To build this project, you will need the following components. AI Tinker ESP32 Cam, FTDI Programmer, Female to Female Jumper, Mini USB to USB 2.0 Cable, 5V2 Ampere Adapter, and some 3D printed parts. You can find the entire assets in the description. The ESP32 Cam is a full featured microcontroller that also has an integrated video camera and a micro SD card socket. It's inexpensive and easy to use. The main problem with this board is that it has no USB port. So you can't just connect it to your computer and start loading program. So we need an external FTD adapter to get the job done. So connect the ESP32 CAM board to a computer using an FTDA programmer as per the following schematics. Make sure that the jumper is inserted to enable the 5V in FTDA adapter. One important thing is that GPU0 needs to be connected to ground so that you are able to upload the code and it's time to check the software requirements. For that, we open the Odino ID and as the primary requirement, we need to install the ESP32 add-on. For that, open the preferences and add this link to the additional boards manager URL. If you have multiple links, separate them with commas. After, please move to the boards manager in tools and search for the ESP32 and install it. Now if you go back into the boards, you should now see a number of ESP32 boards. You will need to select the right board and give using a Tinker ESP32 CAM. As the second requirement, we need to install three libraries. For that, go to Manage Libraries. First, we are installing the Elucan Surveillance. The second one is async telegram to library. And the third one is Odinio JSON. After installing the library, you can see a lot of example sketches from the leak in Odinio. Feel free to try them and here we are using the modified sketch. To establish a connection between the dashboard and the ESP32 cam, head over to the motion.elecanordino.com. Then do a sign up if you don't have an account. First, we need to create a device and it's a very simple process. Head over to the devices and click on a new device, just name it as you like. This is the template sketch generated by them and then we made some modification to this to add telegram notification. You can find the entire code in the description. We need actually two things to link the device with the dashboard. First is the user token and the second one is the device token. For getting motion notification in telegram, we need to create a bot and that's a very simple process. For that, open up the telegram and search for the bot father and send slash new bot for starting a new bot and just name the board whatever you wish. After, you will get a message with the board token. To get the ID, search for the ID board and send slash get ID. The instant itself, you will get your ID for your board. 
both the bot token and id are used in the code this is our modified code first we need to specify our ssid and password of the router then we need to enter the user token and device id which we will get from the dashboard of the eloquent audio and finally enter the bot token and id which we obtained earlier in telegram upload the code to the esp32 can be sure you have the jumper connected between gpo0 and ground the sketch may take a while to compile and upload and this is normal when it is finished you can disconnect the usb cable remove the jumper wire between gpo0 and ground and then reconnect the usb cable to power the board back again It's time to test the device. Before testing, we need to start our bot. And then I just move my hand. As you can see, we have got a notification telegram. And in the dashboard, you can see the footages of this particular motion. When I moved my hand again and reloaded the page, you can see new motion footage appeared. So the device is working flawlessly. As a final step, we can put this camera into these 3D printed parts. These wires are actually for powering up the SP32 cam and will go to the 5V and ground of the SP32. So this device is ready and can put anywhere you like. So that's all about the video. Please subscribe to this channel if you feel any value in this content and we will be back with another tutorial and interesting projects. Till then, stay tuned.